Hey guys, welcome back. So every Friday uh, for about the last seven or eight months, I start my day out at the local middle school with a Blackstone Griddle Club. And uh, it's a really cool class that a guy named John Kirk actually started. And it's an elective class that the kids can sign up to. Um, but it is an actual class that gives life skills. It is teaching these kids how to cook. It's teaching to eat something other than hot dogs and chicken nuggets. So that's how I've started my Fridays for about the last seven months. And it's actually become one of the highlights of my week. Uh, so today we've already got that out of the way. I'm headed to the upholstery shop going to check on the 67 Bel Air interior. And um, then I've got to get this Corvette cleaned up. Um, but I want to talk to you about a couple updates on the car. So what I've decided here with the cars, the 67 Bel Air that I was building a Supernatural Tribute, that car is officially sold. Uh, I'm going to finish it out. I'm going to paint it black, do the tan interior. Um, but a lot of people don't realize that there's two cars like that. There's a post car and then there's, there's a hard top. And basically the main difference is the big post in between the windows to where the hard top, when you roll the windows down, there is no post. And that is what the factory, you know, car was for the show. It, it was a sports sedan hard top. And when I bought this car, I, I settled for good enough because this car was extremely nice. I, I've enjoyed driving it. it. It is, God, I've had probably 400 cars and this, this is in the top five. I mean, it is a, it's a great car. You enjoy it. When, when you drive like this Corvette, you're tensed. You want to go fast. You, you want to push the car. But when you get in that 67, you just sit back, you relax, and you enjoy the drive. But I found a 67 hardtop that I've made a deal on. And what I'm doing is I'm going to finish this Bel Air out. We're going to pick the other one up and I'm going to go all out with it. I'm, I'm not going to hold anything back on this one. I'm going to dump way too much money in it, but it is going to be a car that I enjoy. And from a long-term investment, the hard tops are worth more money. I've, I've seen hard tops that sell for anywhere from 50 all the way up to eighty, ninety thousand dollars $90,000. So from a financial standpoint, that's the smartest thing to do. Now, as far as the Corvette, I'm I'm still on the fence. Um, I, I enjoy driving it, but the the downside, I mean, these cars are a pain in the butt to get in and out of. Once you're in it, it's fine. Um, but I'm realizing in my older age that I enjoy the old stuff better. Um, it, you know, I, I drive the Corvette, I enjoy it. I love it, but then I get in the 67 and it, it's just, it's a different experience. Um, and it is crazy because you're going from a car that's pretty much got everything to a car that doesn't even have air conditioning. You've got to pull your window vents or, and you got to pull the fresh air vents in the floor. Um, you've got AM only. There, there's no FM radio on that car and, and I really don't care. Um, it's just an experience to get in it and drive and enjoy it. So I've got the Corvette listed for $10,800. And kind of my thought process is I, I don't, it may, it may bring that. I mean, these cars are going up and this one's extremely nice. So it may bring it, but if it doesn't, I'm not going to be upset. I'll continue to drive it. I'll enjoy the car. And I'll just have an extra toy in the garage. Um, but I do believe my heart is set on the 67 Impala. I, I think that is going to be the, the car that really is a long-term car. Because I buy and sell. I mean, that, that's what I do, you know, I own a small car lot. I buy and sell for fun, but the only vehicle I've, I've ever had 
that is never for sale is my Jeep. And that was because it was my best friend's. So that's a vehicle that it'll never go anywhere. I, I will have that Jeep until I die. And then hopefully my kids will take it and love it as much as I did. Um, but the 67 is probably the closest I've had to something that I would never want to get rid of. So guys, I hope you enjoy the update. Um, you know, we're going to take you guys along through the build process with the 67 Bel Air. Um, as, as it gets tore apart of the next week, I'm going to do some videos some pictures of it and, and kind of document that build because it's one that even though it's sold, we're still not cutting corners. I'm going to do it correctly. Um, we're replacing the carpet. We're doing seat covers. We're, we're redoing the interior to the light buck skin. I'm not a Brian Maupin. I'm not a Rick Blevins. I, I'm, I'm not able to build a screen accurate show car to their level but I've got enough experience with cars that I'm going to build a damn nice car. And when the new owner gets it, he's going to love it. All right, guys. So if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. And if you don't mind, subscribe, turn the net, the notifications on. That way you'll get all the updates and uh, we will see you guys later. Thanks for watching.